Welcome to Absolutely PlayStation and Steam Gamers. Go ahead and join that absolute army by clicking like down below, letting us know your thoughts on Gotham Knights after we talk about it, and hit subscribe. On this channel, me, Dylan, uh, multiple other people like to chat about various things in the world of video games as we're huge gamers. Dylan likes to play his uh, Candy Crush, and I love to play uh, Shoots and Ladders, and together we've made a channel. Mm. That's true. <laughs> With our powers combined, we make one... A uh, twelve-year-old girl. <laughs> <laughs> we're really good at that, um, but no. But seriously, today we're going to talk about the game Gotham Knights, which got a little bit more information, mostly just a trailer, a story trailer in the DC fandom. So, Dylan, what do you think? Let's start with there. Man, uh, I know we haven't talked about the Suicide Squad trailer yet, but I watched this one after the Suicide. I didn't watch Fandom um, just because, mostly because I forgot it was happening, despite me putting it on my calendar. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I um I watched the Gotham Knights trailer after the Suicide Squad trailer and I was like, man, this looks incredible. <laughs> and that's not to say the Suicide Squad one looks bad. We'll watch the other video for our thoughts on that. But right, right, we're gonna do a whole video on the Suicide great. Squad. This looks great. I'm really excited. I my concern right now is that we don't actually know that much, like on the gameplay. Oh, sure. So we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> Um, there's four playable characters. I've heard co I've heard co-op gameplay is a thing. I've heard four player is going to be a thing. I've heard no, we're not doing four player. I've heard not a live service. I've heard live service. Like the rumors are abundant, and I yeah. can't find any concrete evidence of anything outside of we're doing a co-op game. I think it's it's like it's like history is repeating itself for sure with like the gameplay aspect. Like back when Avengers was first announced, and nobody knew what it was and it took like a f it took like basically until the beta for people to understand what the game was yeah, yeah um and i think a similar situation is happening here and i bet they're being very careful i i i bet they're trying to skirt comparisons to avengers if it is all similar to that game well um, i mean ignoring for the least of the sake of right now how bad the avengers situation is getting uh, right. you, I mean, a lot of games in general don't want to use the term live service anymore. They don't want to like anything that has gotten bad vibes. They don't want to talk mm -hmm. about, they don't want to bring up. So I get why they're being vague. And also there's not even a concrete, this is probably going to come out from the looks of things. Cause it did get pushed back and I pulled up the Twitter post. All they are saying is worldwide 2022. So to me that says we're getting to Christmas next year. So they got yeah. time to sort everything out and get the word out mm -hmm. properly. Um, but I'm excited for the idea of even two player, just a two player Gotham yeah. game. I mean, I'd be okay with a single player game that looks like this, like this, yeah. like just visual. Cause that, the main thing that I was like, uh, having a hard time with the suicide squad trailer was, is like, Oh great. Another superhero game that like has weird animation and kind of all the humans look clay. <laughs> um, which I know it's probably, it's cause they're working on old hardware and probably don't have a, as much of a budget, but like. And and I'm I know all of this is probably in engine and not gameplay, um, but enough shot I've seen enough shots to be like wow this looks so pretty, uh, yeah. And just from like a production standpoint, I'm I'm excited for that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the, I'm and I'm trying to base like most off of that because we got a we got a story trailer here like the. We don't know anything about the gameplay yet. Right, so. we, we need the gameplay trailer. So like, that's why I wanted right. to like let it know because everyone's the ru rumors are already rampant, and I wanted like we don't actually have anything outside of. I think the only thing confirmed is that it will have co-op, which would make sense with the four characters. So yeah. I got a list here from Games Radar that lists out everything we did find out in the trailer. So Batcave is gone and it's replaced with the Belfry. Okay, sure. So we're not doing the Batcave. <laughs> Um, the Belfry is where Bat, uh, Batgirl r works out of and a bunch of things like that involved with that. So that one's a cool idea. Um, the Gotham Knights story is completely original. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> I mean, you're hinging on the Court of Owls, so like, <laughs> yeah. it's not completely original. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm looking at the, like, apparently in an interview, they said it's a completely original storyline. There's a thing called the Night of the Owls in which the entire Bat family fights against a member of the Court of the Owls. Sure. And they try to dethrone them. I'm not going to deny that they're probably going in their own direction with it, but it's definitely inspired heavily by the Night of the Owls. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think it's like it's like calling Iron Man 3 an original story, where it's like, it is, but also it's like, it's just extremis. Yeah, so. it's all it is. <laughs> um, Court of the Owls is going to be a big focus. I got a box from DC Warner Brothers, and uh, it has the Court of the Owls mask in it, and another plot point that oh, I, yeah. I 
So and if it's not in that. here, I'm going to bring up. You know, you get a tweet about what? My mask? No, you tweeted with it on. Yeah, do you, do you want my mask? I'll send you the box. You can have my mask. I, that would be great. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll put it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, it's pretty epic. The mask is actually really high quality, but they're definitely leaning into this bat. I've always found the court of the owl is very fascinating. The idea that there's a secret organization that even Batman didn't know existed, which is mm-hmm. what this is. Um, the next up, we saw that Mr. Freeze was going to be back in it. Now this is important. Did he die in the Arkham franchise? I don't remember. This isn't, isn't this the one that's not connected to Arkham? See, here's the interesting part. I think they're playing both sides of this. Oh, okay. So I've got, in that box, is a newspaper. Bruce Wayne is dead. Wayne Manor destroyed. That's the ending to Arkham Knight. Right. (laughs) So I think they're, it's not in continuity in the same sense that people don't consider uh, the Batman cold something. It was the middle one where it was Halloween. It was Christmas because Rocksteady didn't do it. Arkham Origins? Yes. Arkham yeah. Origins is technically in canon, but if you look at the Rocksteady fans, it is not in canon. And Rocksteady ignores it for the most part. Right. Because they didn't make it. WB Montreal made Arkham Origins, and they're making this game. So that would make sense. Right. So I feel like this is one of those, it's in continuity, mm-hmm. but it's not. It's like the B canon. What's that? Like, doesn't Dragon Ball have like tiers of canon? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that. Or maybe they're pulling the DC route. If this is popular, it's in canon. But if it's not as right. popular, it's not in canon. So we can ignore Which, it. Which, like, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm, so, I'm kind of tired of arguing about canonicity in, in a world where the multiverse is literally mainstream now. Yeah. So it, this could just be an alternate universe. Who cares? In this universe, <laughs> Batman also died and Arkham Knight <laughs> yeah. also happened. <laughs> yeah, there's just a divergent. Like, they were both Arkham until some diverging point happened. So it's really interesting that they're going the shroud. Um, this confirmation is that Gotham Knights is drop-in, drop-out co-op. Seamless drop-in, drop-out co-op, which is a huge focus for them. Batgirl's doing her thing to help Robin, showcasing process of joining and leaving co-op sessions looks easy-peasy. Robin joined the session. Robin joined the session. Okay, that's what they're going to do then. Um, and it's catered to co-op gameplay. I'm excited for this because hmm. we have more than enough Batman Arkham titles that have sold ga- like gangbusters right. that are easy to play and modified already. So, um, and apparently we all, I didn't know this, but apparently in these discussions, we also are confirmed that it is, you can play it offline and entirely solo if you want to. Now, I don't believe that. I'm getting tired of game companies throwing that out there just to get people to buy it. Because I've played so many games that are like, it's co-op focus, but you have a solo option. Yeah, the solo option is just game on cracked out hard mode because you didn't scale it for that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to, I will say, I think I think it's unavoidable that this game is going to be con- compared to Avengers. Um, and Avengers said the same thing, and it turned out to be true. Like, you can, the, the majority, like, I would say like 90% of my time playing that game has not been offline just because I I didn't purposefully unplug my computer from the internet but I did play it alone uh and it was fine I would say it's easier by yourself because you don't have to wrangle other people <laughs> and maybe they'll do that too but like I'm playing back for blood right now and it has a single player mode and you can roll without going online and it's, t- it's super hard but if you yeah. go four people it's just fun and let's have a great time you know mm-hmm. so it, it, too many games do that rule, you know, like Borderlands is technically soloable, but it's just easier with people. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it, de- it, it, it depends on the, uh, the focus of it. Cause it, 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 I'm glad that it seems like they, they've released a story trailer now. Now they're saying that there is a solo offline mode because that to me says that it's going to be more story focused. Um, so it's not. Like it's going to be more like like an Avengers campaign experience as opposed to the the live service portion of that game, which like I think the campaign is pretty much universally praised. It's just everything after that. Yeah, yeah. Everyone generally well. likes the campaign. They don't like when they force feed you the live service elements, but right. The story is pretty good. Um, and then on top of that, the last thing that we found out is they're all going to have individual skill trees. So. I really wish they told us what this game was. Like, is this just yeah. DC's version of Avengers, but they're going to try and make it more tight-knit for people? Or is this going to be, like, an Arkham sequel that's meant for co-op? I 
I don't know. Either way, it's it looks amazing. Tell. I'm calling dibs <laughs> yeah. on Red Hood right now. Like, <laughs> Fair. I'll take back, girl. That's all I want. Okay, deal. Like, I don't have much more to say in this. I love the Court of the Owls. I love the Bat Family. I love co-op games. I mean, I've made that very adamant. I don't know what else to say other than I'm stupidly excited about this game. Yeah, same. I'm, <laughs> I'm very excited for this. I'm, I was, I was, and again, we'll talk about this in the Suicide Squad video, but I was like disappointed watching that. Uh, but then in comparison, like, oh, cool. Especially since yeah, one's Montreal and one's Rocksteady, because I mean, unless you're kind of under a rock, Montreal's like, they're good, but Rocksteady is the king of the DC games because they made the Arkham franchise. Mm-hmm. You know, and it, I don't know, it feels like they might be getting dethroned finally. I don't know. Montreal I mean, might take the cake. I also don't, the only Arkham game I like is Asylum, so <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Rocksteady in that regard you didn't like city i like city arkham knight leaned way too much into this whole we made a tank it goes sideways i haven't played knight and origins but uh for from what i understand the criticisms i have of city carry through to those games so i don't want to play them (laughs) (laughs) i'm curious what are your criticisms because this is going to be tied into the universe what 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 are you hoping to Uh, not happen in this i think the word i think the uh, that style of game breaks when you make the world too big because the everything's too spread out it's it's they just went too big with it and like the combat is really really shallow and if you extend it and pad out your game with like world exploration and and all this stuff i'm sure the the world building and lore is probably great and that's why a lot of people probably like it but like playing arkham asylum i got enough in like a tight-knit experience i beat that game in a day it's like a a good tight-knit experience where uh you know, you don't, you're not playing the game long enough to where you start to realize that the combat is like you press one button and that's it. Well, no, uh, you got to press the counter button. <laughs> yeah, you just press the counter button and then you can win. But, and I know they're capable of more stuff, but I mean, I know WB is capable of more stuff because uh, Shadow of Mordor is like where the Arkham combat should be, but they just never got to that point. Yeah. Um, it might have gotten better in later games, but it's just the, the open world is my main problem because it adds a bunch of stuff that I, I don't like. I like an open world Batman, but whatever. <laughs> sure. That's personal. Well, hopefully personal. it's not a giant open world in this one because it looks like it is. I mean, if it is, that's fine. I just, I would be okay with the open world if the combat was more interesting and they filled it with like more interesting things than just like n- nameless goons, you know? <laughs> Arkham Asylum, every 20 minutes you run into like Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze. Like, <laughs> and it was so like, it was, it was, it was, uh, you know, it was contained. It was. It was I, a short, I will admit, it did experience. get a little tiring. Like, oh, nameless goons again. Oh, this one's a big thug. Bat thing, yeah. bat thing, <laughs> bat thing. <laughs> but all right, well, this has been Absolutely PlayStation. Steve Gabers, join that Absolute Army by hitting like, subscribing to the channel, and joining us for the discussion. Let us know in the comments down below your thoughts on Gotham Knight, and stick around. Suicide Squad is coming.